Simulation refers to the planning of radiation, and planning is important because when you receive radiation, the radiation beams are going to be hitting not only your tumor, but other important organs in the upper abdomen, including the liver, the kidneys, the small and large intestine, the stomach. So we need to make sure that those beams are coming in at the optimum location. We use multiple beams to target the pancreas. So when you come in, you'll be asked to drink some oral contrast. That's so that we can see your stomach and your small bowel and uh, know exactly where they are. We'll also put an IV in for intravenous contrast because that helps us to see those blood vessels that are close to the pancreas. And then we'll bring you into our planning room. In our planning room, we have a CT scanner. And that CT scanner is used to scan you specifically for radiation. Very different from the scans that you have in diagnostic radiology, which are used to stage your tumor. You'll have a series of three scans, one of which assesses for motion because the pancreas moves with breathing. And we want to make sure that the radiation is hitting it in all phases of breathing. You'll be in a special device that's called a cradle that molds around you, goes from a liquid to a solid, and is what you'll be treated in every day for your radiation treatment. The scans are done, and then I use that information to design your radiation fields along with a, a group of specialists, including dosimetrists and physicists. A lot of work is done behind the scenes to ensure that you have an excellent plan that treats the cancer and tries to spare some of those normal tissues that we spoke about.